Welcome back to this series of videos on, on data visualization principles. And this video is going to talk about the principle of proportional ink. And that basically states that the size of shaded areas need to be proportional to the data values they represent. So if we look at these two figures here that both depict the, the median income uh, for counties in Hawaii, um, you know, the first one you know, violates this principle because you know, the amount of income for Hawaii looks very small relative to the income for Honolulu because we've used a baseline here uh, that is, is different from zero. Um, by contrast, the, the lower visualization uh, is not obscuring that information. And, you know, the, the, the amount of area for each of those bars really represents uh, the amount of, in this case, income in those areas. So in general, you know, we should have our bars, uh, particularly on a linear scar scale, starting at zero. Obviously, if you're working on a log scale, there is no zero to work with. And actually, on a log scale, you want to kind of make sure things are, are referenced to one. Um, the, uh, OK. So that's, that's a general principle. So there are, there's an important, what may seem like an exception to this, which is, but it's not, which is that if your focus is on comparing groups, uh, not on their absolute magnitudes, it can be okay to do this by choosing explicit reference group or reference time or some other you know, point of reference. So this is different from like that last visualization that you know, chose $50,000 as a point of reference. You know, that, that, didn't, that didn't work. Uh, but here we're talking about uh, change in income over time uh, from two, two points in time. Uh, and so, you know, that this, again, the, the, the area of each box you know, doesn't violate this principle because it still represents uh, that actual amount. It's just now we're looking at a, ch a change relative to a reference group. Uh, that said, even though this doesn't violate the principle of propor proportional link, it is uh, really important to give a lot of thought when choosing reference groups uh, because people can be very sensitive to that choice of, of reference groups. And in particular, we'll kind of dive into this end of the semester when we talk about decision analysis. Uh, people are really not equally sensitive to losses and gains. Uh, so, you know, if I, you know, if I went back uh, to this figure and said, oh, the bottom panel is, is accurate, but, you know, you can't really see the differences and what I want to emphasize is the difference. You know, if I chose Honolulu as the reference group, all the, everyone else's income would have looked negative. And if I chose Hawaii as the reference group and reported you know, difference in median income relative to Hawaii, everyone would have looked positive. And, and the reality is, even though that's the same information, uh, that information actually is often perceived differently by people. And we, we tend to uh, be loss adverse. We you know, perceive losses uh, more than, than gains. Uh, another thing that's useful to understand uh, when generating visualizations that uh, meeting the principle of proportional length by itself is not always sufficient. And that's because when you get down to it, uh, even though it's important to have areas represented accurately, humans are much better at judging distance and length than we are at judging area. And so here we have the same information uh, represented as a pie chart and versus a bar chart. And most of us are going to be much more sensitive to being able to judge the differences among groups uh, within that bar chart, because our, our visual systems are, are much better at uh, judging length than area. Uh, and particularly in the pie chart, we're, we're encoding a lot of information in terms of angular distances, which we're, we're not optimized for as a, as a species. Um, so you know, if, it, if no one's told you this before, generally avoid pie charts. They're not, not the best way of visualizing data. And the, even if you need to visualize proportional data, uh, there, are, there are better options out there. 